want to know what what uh, opportunities or how the organization Women Engineering can help young ladies who yeah. are also watching this interview today or who see this yeah. somewhere will be interested in pursuing their dreams in engineering. In fact, um, we have joined the game. Okay. We have, as I'm talking to you, professional engineers, women. Okay. Only professional, we have craftsmen, we have all the levels. Okay. Technicians, engineers, technologists, and fellows, and all that. But professional engineers, we have about 40. They are very seasoned and experienced on the field. We can help them by introducing them to your programs. They tell you, they are, you know, we have structural engineers, we have construction engineers, we have civil engineers, we have a range of them. They can come and tell their story. And once they tell their story to the, these young ones, they will be able to pick. Because now we are in COVID times. We need to go to schools to encourage them. Okay. Yes, um, this year we've been to every girls and we were lucky to have about over 100 students being science students and they are all girls. How We were so pleased to, to meet them and at the close of the program, they were just following us with questions and up to this, some still WhatsApp me, what should I do if I want to be a pilot, if I want to do this and have to keep connecting them to these women who speak to them and these are the things that will sustain their interest. Uh, so if you're able to bring more of these women here, I mean they watch us online and they'll be encouraged because I was encouraged through these means. Yes, so that's, I think that's, 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 that's really that's really, that's really amazing to hear. Yeah. To know that the schools when you yeah. go there there's a lot of interest. But what was your daughter in school when you went when you yes. went to the seminar? She, she felt so bad she didn't do this course and she came home, apologized and said, look, if mom made I, I, I a mistake, imagine, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> said, look, my friend sees me so much, how can your mom is such a, you know, like a great engineer, you, you, you cannot be, yeah. then he said, mom, but I cannot change it, I said, no, don't change it, Go ahead. you want to be a lawyer. And maybe you will defend my company in future, so it's okay. That's okay. great also. Okay. Engineer, yeah. <laughs> engineer Mrs. Mary Amadeo, for any last words before we go? Yes, my last word to the public is that, you know, the home is where we all begin. Yes. Parents will encourage their works, especially the female engineers. And to the engineering community, especially the women who are in engineering, please, when you are in this career, you can't afford to stay back. When you are in meetings, be at the round table. Be outspoken. That is what will let you learn. When you stay back always, you don't even listen and participate in whatever is on board. Do you get it? So, whenever you get opportunity to meet people in a workshop, in a conference table, in committees, play key roles. As I sit here, Though I'm um, uh, a fellow of institution of uh, engineering technology, it didn't end there. In September, la uh, sorry, November 16th last year, I mobilized for the institution to have the women's wing, and now it has come to stay. It is that that was the period where I realized we have a whole lot of women in the institution, but I was not seeing them. You see, so we need to do something. We need to come to the forefront. Yes, we need to come to the forefront and, do it and also contribute your quota. And that will help. We have so many things in us. But if you don't put yourself uh, forward to do something, nobody will know what is in you. That's interesting. Uh, engineer Mrs. Uh, Miriam Edufo, thank you so much for uh, spending your Monday morning with us. And uh, we appreciate your encouraging words especially to young women who are in the sciences and engineering. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Engineer Mrs. Miriam Medofo is the president or the chairperson of Women in Engineering. Really encouraging words to young ladies who want to be a part of this career and profession. You can do it too. It's, just, it's not a profession for men. As you can see, as you can see, she has excelled in it. And she has been with uh, the electricity company of Ghana for 17 years. So that's a career worthwhile. That's a career worth having. You can do so too if you're interested in engineering. Read more, equip yourself, and just be encouraged to do whatever you want to do in life. That's how it works. Thanks for watching this interview. I'm back with Jackie after the break.